Hi again, it's Megan. I'm just um, continuing working on my Harry Potter um, diamond painting, and I thought I would demonstrate a little bit of this, the four, see all these four, these um, rows of four. I figured I would demonstrate a little bit of my um, six drill tip. Um, but I will use it for the for four um, right there. So I hope you can see this okay. Um, I'll do my best, but so um, what I've done, I've been doing rows of nine, so now I'm going to separate them. This is left over from um, the previous part down here, so I'm going to separate these into rows of four. Okay, and then I hope this wax will hold up. I think it, it'll be okay. So I'll just come over here like that. The three tip and, um, oops, the three and fours are really easy for me to do. Um, the nine is a little bit more tricky, like I showed you in a previous video. Um, but the fours and threes and fives and sixes are all pretty easy to do. And as some of you may know, I've got a lot of white in this painting, so I've been using my nine drill tip pretty much for all of it. So if you notice, I'm picking up the drills um, in the middle of my pen. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to turn off this light so you can see it a little bit better. Um, there you go, if you can see that. Um, I'm putting the four drills in the middle of my pen on purpose because when I go to put it down onto the painting I need there to be some space for these drills right here to sink into so I can get it flush onto the canvas so that it, they can all stick down so I've noticed that it's easiest to do it that way um, I also find for me that it's easier to have drills already placed down here and work above them instead of having drills up here and working below them. I don't know why I prefer it that way. I just, it, I don't know, I guess it feels better. It makes more sense to me. I don't know, my hand likes it. I don't really know why, but um, that's the case with me. I guess I could get used to it either way, but for now, this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to get more beads onto my, on my boat, my tray. I just take another minute just to get them to flip over a little bit better. And then what I do is I go onto my light table, so I'll go out of the frame for just a second. I go onto the light table to get rid of any reject beads, reject drills, I should say, that either have holes in them at, on the top and with this white color, or any light color for that matter, um, The putting it on top, putting your boat on top of the light tray the light pad really helps to be able to see all those imperfections in the beads. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll make rows of four. 
going to start at the side and work my way up the tray and anything that's left over I'll just add to it right there so the other thing that I've started doing with this particularly this painting because it has so much white is I keep um, I use white in pretty much every section that I do actually in every single section that I do there's white um, so what I've been doing is I'll keep one tray, I'll keep this tray designated just for the white. That way if I have leftover beads that are in rows that I haven't used yet, I'm not going to just scrap them, um, pour them back in after I've, you know, figured it all out like this. Instead what I'll do is I'll keep this tray and set it aside. And then I'll get another tray, um, another empty tray, and I'll use it for any colors that I have. Like, I have colors up here. So I'll use a different tr um, bead boat for the colors. And I'll just keep this one designated for white. And I usually keep it next to the jar of white that I have open or the bag that I have of it just so I remember that it's actually white. Oops. I thought that was a more efficient way of doing it rather than say if I was, if I only had a few rows left to do of the white, but I got them all flipped over nicely and, um, you know, they were all kind of in order. Not that i if I only had a couple of rows, I wouldn't have done it this completely. You know, I wouldn't have figured out all the the beads, um, the drills, and put them into groups. But that way, if I do that, then it's easy to just come back to it and start adding more white to the next section. Because like I said, every section that I pull up um, in this painting has white in it. Whether it's rows of nine, rows of four, one here or there, you know, it gets complicated within the design, but at least then I can just grab it and go. And of course I didn't figure that out until, hmm, not too long ago. <laughs> you see how I dropped a couple there? That's because my wax is getting um, not sticky enough. And what I did was I just picked them up in the right spots. And then when I come over here, I'll just adjust it. No big deal. Um, some of you have mentioned that you haven't um, quite mastered the three drill tip tool yet. Um, and so you're like, wow, you're doing the, the nine drill tip. I can't even do the three yet. And that's fine. I mean, the, I started with the three, two, and you just, I just kind of jumped in and I was like, well, you know what? I just, I guess I'll just try it out. Um, and it ended up working out quite well. And the other thing I really like about these jars, I, can, I don't know if you can see, it. I'm really close to my painting right now, sorry. Um, these jars, what I really like about them is that um, if I just have one drill to put down, I'm going to try to let's see if I can raise you up just a little bit here. Um, sorry. Um, so if I only have... Oh, come on. There we go. If I only have one of these drill, one, um, one cue to do, I can just go into here and find one that's that's right side up and then put it down instead of having to pour all of them out because I don't have any more of that letter so I'll just screw it back that's why I really like if I had it if I had these drills in bags I don't think that I would be able to do that um, so that's one thing that's really good about doing it this way with the um, 
the jars like I have them. I'm sorry, sometimes when I'm trying to process what I'm saying at the same time that I'm trying to do something with the camera, I don't get my words out fast enough. I apologize. When I have read these, or when I've listened to these videos back to see if they're good quality or whatever, I'm like, wow, that took me forever to spit that word out. And it's kind of annoying, so I apologize about that. So the other thing I do is I usually work, oh boy, I usually work from right to left with my, um, with each color. This one feels really loose for some reason. Um, so I tend to... Kind of scan it back and forth. I, I know I started with the four, the four drill tip because I saw that four there. So I wanted to do that quickly. Um, the reason why I'm doing it like that is because I like to go vertically like this with my multiple drill tips. It just works better for me. So I'll fill in the rest of the drills that I can um, until I can get a, a good vertical number going on. All right. So that's all the V's. And again, I've kept my whites in rows. This is my white tray and I've put my, my jar close to it so I can know that it's white. Because this color also looks a lot like white, but it's kind of like an off-white color. So I just wanna make sure that in my stupid head that I don't forget what I've done. So I've also used I'm just gonna raise you up a little bit here. I've also used um, some of these. Sorry, this lighting is horrible. Okay, I've used some of these smaller containers that are four connected containers for some of the the numbers that I don't have or the colors I don't have a lot of. And again, I like these because I can just take my drill pen and grab one out. So I've got one B over here and no other Bs. So I like doing that that way because it's just easier. If there's any more than like, I don't know, four, I tend to pour it out. Not that I actually count each B to make sure, but I can just tell by looking if there's more than about four drills of a color, then I will opt to pour it in a boat. It's just more efficient. I'm all about finding the most efficient ways to do things. I think my wax and my pen is getting a little weak. You no, know, you can just feel it, you know. I'm sorry, you can't really see that too well. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. It's upside down to you because I've put my tripod um, on, my, on my diamond painting above where I'm working. So that's why it looks upside down to you. But I was just doing the letter U. So it actually looks like that. You know what really messes me up a lot is um, when I have arrows to do. Like in this one I have um, I've got arrows that go both ways. <laughs> so 
so it really is trippy when I'm trying to do these paintings. I have to keep reminding myself which way the arrow is pointing <laughs> in order to do the right num or the the right um symbol. The other thing I tend to do is I what once I have once I see that I have um, a color, and since I have my all my um, drills in like jars that screw or these kind of containers, I tend to look for any other ones in this container, in the, any of these containers that I can use right away. So I have to put them back and take them back and put them back and take them. So I find that that's more efficient to do too. I might call this video efficiency. <laughs> I mean, not that we're trying to be fast with this craft, but I mean, I don't want it to take me forever to do one color, you know? All right, so now I'm gonna go on to the E's and there's more E's. And as I'm shaking, sometimes I just look for different combinations to get my drill pen ready. So right now what I'm gonna use is my six drill tip. Again, I prefer to do it vertically, but when I need to, I will do it horizontally as well. There's a five. something I don't something that bothers me about these drill tips is that um, sometimes I can't get it flush down to the canvas and so then it ends up either not working or I end up moving beads around because the corners here are so bulky um, these corners it doesn't go exactly to the edge. I'm trying to get the light better on here so I can show you. Um, it doesn't go exactly to the edge right here, so sometimes it will um, move the beads around a little bit. But... And I know I just told you that I usually work from right to left. And <laughs> now I'm working left to right. It really just depends. I mean, I'm partly scared to, um, I don't want to block your view. So I apologize if that's happening. I'm just going to toss that one. You know, some of the beat, some of the drills that I've received, I've put into um, containers already. So it's faster to start them or at bags or something just to use. What is going on with this one? And some of them I noticed are very, um, like, sticky. It's more than just static cling. It's like, it's almost like the beads didn't dry all the way. Like that's the only way I can describe it is it seems like they didn't dry all the way before they were packaged. And so they come out like clumpy. And that's really frustrating because when you put them on your tray to do, your, to do the project, they won't like lay flat, you know, they won't, you know, 
um, move around and bump around and stuff. That's happened to me a little bit, and it frust it's frustrating because you can't get to the beads, and it's just way more effort to um, to do. I missed a letter M over there, so I just filled that in. So I'm I'm about to do this this um, like u-turn arrow right here and I noticed that there's a handful there so I'm just gonna pour some in my boat I like the three drill tip really well really not really well I like the three drill tip a lot because I don't have to line them up perfectly I can just kind of grab them you know that's really nice to be able to do. But with the other ones, with the other drill tips, they're just too, there's too many beads to do that with. Really? So, like effectively, I guess, because you get them all wonky looking like I've done in the past. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep going with this, and... Um, Hopefully, I will be finished with this section fairly soon. I wish you all well, and I hope that you enjoy your paintings. Let me know what you're working on. I'd love to see pictures or um, updates or just to describe what you're working on. That's always fun to see what other people are doing. So if you're interested in sharing that, please do, and I will talk to you later.